We are officially one week post-op. My operation was a whole week ago. I don't understand how time works. You've seen the healing progress. It's going well, you know. They just look scarier than they feel. They've not been in pain. They've been itchy and like irritating, but we are going to the surgeons right now. Well, it takes me an hour. So we're going in an hour. We will get to see what they look like. So uh, they're covered in dressings. Well, I don't need to show you, you've just seen them all. <laughs> he takes them off, we have a look. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look, and I know that sounds weird, but because I've got new scars, and you can see in the screenshots with my lovely springtime emojis, you can see they're taped around the nipple, there's a tape underneath the nipple, but there's also that tape above. Under that is a new scar, so it's really weird and unusual to have scars higher than your nipple because with reductions, uplifts, even boob jobs, everything happens underneath the boob for obvious reasons. So this was a risk in itself just deciding to have really visible scars, which I decided to do. It is what it is. I'm okay with it. I made the choice. But I think I'm going to find it hard to look because I'm going to have brand new really significant scars for the first time ever and the first time I saw my breast reduction scars it was obviously really difficult even before it all went wrong and I realized what was happening like it's still really weird to see your body with a different or a new thing on it I feel like even if you get a tattoo it's a little bit scary to look at it for the first time because it's there and it's permanent and you're worried if you won't like it this is slightly different different in that obviously I won't like it it's a scar but it's a scar that I chose to have. So I'm not nervous. I'm just wondering if when he says, right, do you want to look? I'm just not sure if I'll say yes. If I don't look today, there is time. There's the rest of my life for me to look at them. I'm just not sure. But shall we go to East Grinstead and see our favorite man? Yes, I think we shall. Oh. I did look because I was laying flat so if I was sat up I can just look forward but laying flat it was really hard to not look down so I did look and because my new scars are up here they are like so I'm gonna try and explain them the best I can these are my nipples now my new newly placed nipples are now down here in a natural booby place they're just really regular low nipples which I'm so happy. The scars come out of the nipples and they do this, they do like this kind of backward C shape, like yeah, just like that, and it is that big, so my scars now go to here. So I now have scar, nipple, scar, scar. So I could definitely get away with saying I was bitten by a shark, which I'm hoping one day I get to do. <laughs> but my nipples are in a natural place, my boobs just look natural and there is less keloiding and I still just think that this was the right thing to do. As soon as I woke up and I could see the outline of my nipples under my hospital robe, I could just see where they were, I was like yeah, that's where they're supposed to be. Yes, when I'm not wearing a top, I'm going to have really significant scarring. But I've had significant scarring for over 10 years. I really think I'm just... Oh, what's another one, you know? Or oh, what's another two? My little C-shaped scars. <sighs> weird. Really weird feeling. My body looks significantly different to what it did a week ago. Mental. I've got my surgeon surgery tape, so... I will need to change my dressings probably in two or three days. When I do... I will show you the fresh scars. They are alarming. If this jumps to a clip of me showing you fresh scars, be ready to be alarmed because they are weird. I need to go and process what I've just seen. <laughs> Moaning. So, that appointment was yesterday. These are my little uh, affirmation cards, by the way. They're really cute. I really like them. And... I feel much more, um, 
I just feel much better today because I've had time to, you know, you know. <laughs> so I thought I could show you because um, I need to redo my tapes already because I was itching last night and I was actually waking up itching my boobs, which is really bad. I need to find a way to stop that happening. Um, so I need to redo them so I can show you the new scars. You know the drill, right? If you don't like scars, blood, dried blood, bruises, surgery, anything like that, just don't watch. In fact, you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video anyway, but in case you did, just don't watch. So what I can do is show you like this. This is why I really like YouTube because I can't do this on Instagram or TikTok, like even though I'm obviously not showing you nipples or my boobs, like those platforms will still like get really angry at you and you know, tell you off for even doing this, which is showing you like part of my boob. Okay, so my nipples are way down here now, which is lovely. This here is the tape that I'm gonna remove to show you the new scar. So nipple, new scar, are you ready? Should let me get you a bit closer. Just a quick bruise update. A proper scar. It's a proper scar. <sighs> okay, I'll show you the other one. They actually do go a bit further down, but the nipple tape is covering this piece of tape, so for now, this is easiest. <sighs> so, yeah, I wasn't lying when I said it was quite a big operation. I know no one would choose to have these scars and I know you might not get it and it might be a bit like why why would you do that but after two years of having nipples that I felt were too high I spent that whole time evaluating whether or not I felt like it would be worth the scarring because I was always aware I was always made very very aware that this is either high nipples and the scars stay the same or low nipples and big scars mm. Which is why I'd said like it was it was one of the operations that I thought twice about. Whereas with all my other reconstruction that we've had since the initial reduction went wrong, however many years ago that was, this was the first one that I thought actually is this something I definitely want to do. Um, so it's cool if like you don't get it and you think it's a bit weird that I've I would choose to have these scars, but even though they look like they do and they will get worse, that's the thing that's hard to like remember is they will get worse because I know how my body scars they will thicken and they will redden and there'll be scars that I have to manage forever but I'm just so glad I did and I really feel like this was the right thing to do and I'm really happy with it which sounds crazy I completely get it like looking at my boobs you're like you're happy with it but genuinely I am really happy with it um so yeah, that's the update. I can't believe it. <laughs> I feel really, really happy. Like really happy. And I feel like I have to preface that by saying like, I know they look bad, but I'm really happy. But I do know they look bad and I am really happy. And they don't look bad. They are new scars. They are part of me. They are literally like every single other scar on my body. They are part of me and their journey, I know, journey is just like, oh, get in the bin, but 11, 10, 11 years of surgeries, it's a fucking journey, all right? I'm allowed to use that word. <laughs> so, do you remember the last time I had surgery? I kept saying, this is the last one, no more surgery, this is it. Well, I'm not making that mistake again because you never know. There's no such thing as the last ever surgery, especially for a case as complex as this. And I think what might be quite likely to happen is in maybe a year to 18 months time, once these scars have settled and I'm just settled in my boobs again, I think we might do another scar revision depending on how these heal. Right, really quick, interesting um, explanation of how my scars or how breast scars can work. Because these scars, there's quite a lot of tension on them. The breast was reshaped and the nipple was moved. So when they sewed them together, like these two scars coming together, there's quite a lot of tension. And when scars have a lot of tension on them, they find it harder to heal like they're more likely to keloid or to just not be as aesthetically sort of neat 
for the exact reason you'd understand. If you slice your hand and you have some butterfly glue stitches and there's no um, there's no tension there, it's probably going to heal quite well. When you're pulling two pieces of tissue together with a high amount of tension because you're pulling them together, it's going to have a higher pressured wound basically. Those are the types of scars that are more likely to be problematic. That is what these are. They are go probably, touch wood, but they're probably going to be problematic. So in a year's time when there's no longer tension, the swelling has gone, my boobs are settled, it will be a much smaller, quicker operation to slice out, say, imagine if they're keloid, slice out the keloids and just sew that skin back together, which is quite likely to happen. And again, I'm like so chill with that. Bring it on. I'm ready. But yeah, that is all the booby scar updates. It's just gonna take some getting used to and obviously I've got a good few weeks of, well, a few months of healing left. I already miss hoop, I already miss running, I already miss like doing heavy things, but that's fine. It's worth it to heal well and as safely as possible. <sighs> right, now that the surgery stuff is probably near enough done, let's get back to normal vlogging. So I will see you in a minute. I don't know what we'll be doing, but maybe something a little bit more normal. I did a thing. I was so worried it was going to be smashed. The four. Oh, it's so cute. Why not finish the vlog? With the toothpaste stain on me, annoying. The same outfit as last time, and one more visit to the surgeon. I have checkups every week for the next month because it was such a like unusual surgery. They were just like keeping an extra eye on my healing because you know what I'm like. So let's go again to East Grinstead. I know this drive back to front now, which is a good thing because I also have to come home. <laughs> I know for a fact that there's not going to be any new news. There's not gonna be anything said. Oh. It's healing really well. My nipples haven't died. The scars look fine. So we're on track for a really positive healing process. I miss the gym. I really miss the gym and not so much the gym, running. I see people out jogging and I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. But we'll see what he says. I'm gonna ask him at what point he thinks I can get back to running. Okay, see you in one second. I'm back. Appointment done. I'm knackered. It was so much driving. I've been driving for like three hours today. Yeah. But the surgeon is happy, so I am happy. The boobs are healing really well. Touch wood, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood, touch wood. And he actually even said I could start to exercise again if I just listen to my body and make sure I'm not doing anything that's pushing me too hard. So that's really exciting. I think I might go for a little jog next week. But thank you very much for watching. I know you have seen a lot of my boobs in this video, but hey ho. <laughs> right, love you, bye.